you go. It is thunderstorming like crazy. The dogs are a little scared. I think we're gonna let Tuco sleep with us for a little bit. We have a leak. It rained really heavy last night. Crazy heavy. So, another thing to fix. <laughs> yeah, yet another. Hey guys, um, I know we haven't been around for a week. Uh, we skipped last week's video because we've been taking this time to really get through that list of things we wanted to improve on the bus before we head west. Uh, we don't have definite plans for where we're going, but we're thinking Guadalupe Mountains, maybe Arizona, but we're gonna stay flexible. Even more importantly than taking time to do the, our remaining bus updates though, we took a week off of YouTube so we could really say a proper goodbye to everybody in Alabama, all of our families here. They're sprinkled throughout the state and we really wanted to spend time and make sure that we got to visit with each of them before we go. So before we head out, we did want to show you the remaining updates that we've done in the bus. I'm really surprised actually that we got through our list of things that we wanted to do. Uh, but yeah, I think we're ready to go. We have spent pretty much all of today installing a ladder. <laughs> the reason why it took all day is because when we started installing it, I noticed a rust spot. I didn't notice. I knew it was there. Didn't want to tackle it. Never felt like it. Never didn't think we needed to. Um, but this would have really made it difficult. Uh, having the ladder where it was would have really been um, made it difficult to get to. And so kind of poked it a little bit to see if it would uh, give way and it just pfft, right through. So uh, another spot that uh, had rusted through that we needed to take care of. So we spent a lot of the day just doing that um, and uh, ended up with this. So it's not pretty, um, but it, uh, it's getting the job done. Happy that that's taken care of now. Um, but uh, so hopefully that we sprayed some rust converter in there, so hopefully um, that'll stop it for the most part. Thing doesn't have to last 20 years. Perfect is the enemy of complete, and uh, this is complete now. Uh, now we have a much easier way to get up to the roof, whereas before we were, we might, we might even show you how we were getting up to the roof before. So when I open this, it's probably gonna be Pour a bunch some water of water. On you. Gonna... It does require us to use the step stool, but that's kind of a nice little um, deterrent just in case somebody wanted to just hop up here. It's, you know, you really have to crank your leg and you could get up there if you really wanted to, but uh, we're just trying to keep honest people honest uh, as far as that goes. So we just hop up. Be careful. It's a little <laughs> And you don't have great traction in those shoes, so seriously. No traction. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, way easier <laughs> to get up here. Good stuff. So one of the main things that we wanted to take care of in the bus before we started to head west again uh, and get underway was the garage. The garage was kind of, I don't want to say disaster, but there is a fine line between packing in and, and storing as much stuff as possible and then also being able to easily get to the stuff that you need to get into. And there's a balance there and we hadn't found it yet. And I think we're, we probably are not perfectly there, but we're a lot closer. So check it out. One of the things that spray some WD-40 on this handle. So now it's a lot easier to open. That's good. Um, but yeah, so here's, uh, here's the garage as it is right now. Now this isn't completely organized yet, but it is better at least already than it was before. Um, one of the things I wanted to do from the beginning was have this, uh, have the step stool up on this table so I can just pop it out and then have the table we can lower down. So one of the things that we did before, this was just one huge space and uh, it, we were able to put a lot of stuff in it, which is good, but it was really difficult to get to that stuff. And uh, some of the more important things, like these two additional solar panels, were in the very back, and we would have to take everything out first. And it was a huge pain, and it took forever to do, and it made us not use these when we probably could have. Um, but what the partition allows us to do is sort of, uh, it sections off two sides and lets us lean the uh, solar panels up on one side, leans up the uh, a few boxes on the other side and then we have a few hooks in it to uh, hang a couple backpacks which is good uh, and it also allows us to have a brace for these shelves so before uh, when we needed to get to the gray tank um, yeah this is like super not organized right now not the um, gray tank sorry not the gray tank but the gray uh, tank hose to empty the gray tank um, All that stuff won't be there. No, the this is, is yeah. Away. This We're is just we threw in before it started raining. <laughs> um, so, but this, uh, we can get this out really easily now. My... <laughs> Again, that's not going to be there. Um, so this was really, this was on the bottom, directly on bottom of these two tubs, and I had to have to take these two tubs out to get to the hose, and that was a huge pain. So now, thanks to this shelf, it's really easy to just bring it in and out. And then we also have, which I wanted this from the very beginning. Wow, we look so unorganized. <laughs> um, we were able to just pull this drawer out. This drawer is unorganized, but we're gonna be putting like cardboard dividers in here uh, to make everything nice and neat. But uh, yeah, that's good. And then all this stuff in here, Again, we're, we're gonna move some stuff around, but the main things that are in here are our solar panels, our, our lounge chairs, um, our, uh, our tent, and our awning. It's not really an awning, it's like a game day tent. I don't know what you call it really. Um, and a bunch of other stuff kind of similar to that. So uh, the garage, while certainly far from perfect, is way better than it used to be. So we had been using our outdoor Ikea chairs this whole time because in Longmont we couldn't find a chair that we really liked and we wanted to wait until we found something instead of buying something kind of temporary. So we used our old Ikea chairs that we had had for, I don't know, five years or something. They worked well but they weren't the most comfortable. We found these, which I think look great. They'll wipe down easy and they're much more comfy. Oh, Duke was scared of the thunderstorm. Oh, don't be afraid. Okay. Gonna set up shop down there, huh? The National Weather Service oh has issued a special weather statement. What is the weather statement? Not applicable. <laughs> oh, good. Thunderstorms. That's all. Thunderstorms. No. Oh. We can handle that. Can we handle that, Tuco? When it's rainy outside, it gets so nasty in here so fast. It smells like wet dog. <laughs>
So I really like throw pillows. I hate throw pillows. But I figured out pretty quickly that unless they have removable, washable covers, they're not going to work for us because these end up on the floor, uh, covered in dog fur. Don't do that. <laughs> or underneath dog butts pretty often. So I got rid of the pillows that weren't easily washable and got some new ones. What are we talking about? Um, well, space saver bags. <laughs> Wait, I decided to get some of those <laughs> vacuum. <laughs> I decided to get some of those vacuum storage bags. You've probably seen them on TV, but I hadn't gotten them before because we don't have a good vacuum for it. Anyway, I found one with like a travel hand pump and it does take some time. It's a little slow. It's a little bit of a workout, but I think it's worth it because it's going to take for, you know, with the weather warming up and everything, take our winter coats and our fluffy comforters and stuff. And instead of them being this big blob stuffed somewhere, we can like, you know, compact it and make these little, just store away these little bags. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, be perfect. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> dead space above the door here and I really wanted to put like a cabinet or something but realized that some people might hit their door that hit their head on the edge when they were coming in so I just put some uh, crisscross bungees here and I think it's gonna be a good place to store some shoes or just miscellaneous here you go <laughs> uh, we finally mounted one of our fire extinguishers by the door I think that'll be a good place for it we have two actually all right so one of the things that hey buddy <laughs> Duco, come here. Hey, big boy. Come here, buddy. Pinkies. No, good boy. Okay, right, go come away. Come here. Out of the frame. One problem we hadn't mentioned before, really, was that we were having issues with our 12 volt fridge. <laughs> come back. Come back. We're using a Dometic fridge, and it runs typically really well off of the 12 volt power supply coming out of our Goal Zero Yeti 1400. Um, but something that we discovered while we were in South Dakota is that as the Yeti drops in um, power, as it loses power and gets to around 55-50%, um, the 12 volt output starts to drop and it's no longer a true 12 volt output. It drops to 11 or 10 volts or something, uh, which prevents the uh, Dometic fridge from being able to operate correctly. We had no idea that was the case. And that was a little, uh, it was a little frustrating because we were in South Dakota and we were like, why is our fridge not working? Uh, and we had to wait for it to get back up above 60% for the 12 volt output to actually become 12 volts again. Fortunately, Goal Zero came out with an adapter. Really, it's a, it's just an additional cable uh, that attaches to the Anderson power pole output and regulates the 12 volt output. So now. Even if, if our battery unit gets below 50%, our fridge can continue working fine. It's not a great solution. It's a bit janky, obviously, because this additional cable is huge, um, but things are working properly, and now we can use uh, much more of the battery uh, than we could have before. So things are working, and uh, it just is another cable that we have to organize, which is still clearly an issue. We got a lot of stuff going on here, so that's something we have to do, but Things are good and our fridge is working properly now, which is great. So Tiffany transformed our closet and added all of this additional shelving, which has actually let us use it in a way better way. Um, I still need to rewire a few things in the closet so that we can use the space a little better. Right now, some of the cabling is a bit taut uh, and sort of preventing us from putting a lot more stuff into this cavity down here, which is really big. So uh, we're, we should be able to use, I mean, that's, I don't know. That's a lot of additional space that we can take advantage of. All right, so with our foam mattress, we've really enjoyed our mattress. It's incredibly comfortable. Uh, we've been sleeping better in the bus, honestly, than I think we were on our mattress in our house uh, in Colorado. So that's been great, but unfortunately, it's, um, it's a bit warm, as a lot of foam mattresses tend to be, apparently. Uh, and because it's been so humid in Alabama, it's like, ugh, it can get a little sweaty. So uh, we decided to get a cooling uh, a cooling mattress top and it has actually we've only been sleeping on it I guess last night was the first night right no two or three nights now two or three nights now um, but it uh, feels really good and so 
all it is is this guy and it, it really makes a difference just putting your hand on it and leaving it there. It really doesn't get warm. Um, it's kind of cool. So, I mean. <laughs> if you remember, under our sink was a disaster area. It's not perfect, but it's much better. So I did bungees over here for just miscellaneous stuff. Put a basket on here. Hooks. I've been putting hooks and bungees on just everything. And underneath we have a little uh, basket here that will hold a frying pan. So I think we're in much better shape. So this whole time that we've been on the road and even stationary, we have been storing a lot of crap in our car that we just couldn't decide what to do with yet. Um, but we've taken advantage of being still and gone through everything that was in the car, found a few gross things, took care of a few smells, but now it's really nice. Um, we've got just what we need in here and a couple boxes extra, but they like fit nicely in the floorboard. But now Frankie will be able to ride in the back seat again, which is what I originally planned. She's got a harness that buckles into the seat belt, which keeps her safe. And that means Tuco has more room in the backpack. So I think that's going to be really good for both of them. So possibly one of the things I'm most excited about is we found us some decent mountain bikes. Um, my dad helped us find some good deals on some used bikes. And he hooked us up with an awesome rack back here for on top of the Subaru. So I'm so excited. He's gotten us really into mountain biking and I think it's going to be epic in the desert to take these out and maybe even use them too to go get groceries when we're close enough or something but super pumped. whether the uh, Banfield wellness plan was worth it. Uh, it is $80 a month on the plan that we're on and that's for both dogs. But we just had a vet appointment where we got a lot of good things done and it would have cost $1,200 had we not had this plan. And instead it cost $220 or something like that. Good thing. Well, and we got it in the first place because as we travel more, we're hiking more and you know, Frankie's 10 years old and you know Tuco's a big dog and he's gonna he's getting older and so you know the combination of those things is like well they're probably gonna need to go to the vet a little bit more often and um, and we're, we just saw that happen so you know Frankie has some knee, knee issues and a little arthritis and so we're gonna have to figure out what to do about that but we know that a little bit less you know painfully you know to a $200 bill is a lot more palatable than a $1,200 bill. Frankie's teeth got clean. Tuco just had a, a big physical, uh, and so we know that he's healthy, which is really good peace of mind. So mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's I I see both sides of that, but you know I think it, we'll probably hold on to it. Yeah, I think we'll at least keep it for the year. Yeah. And I don't know. They're getting older, so I think it is a good thing to have them on that. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, we really appreciate it. Um, we're really excited to get moving again. We've made improvements yeah. to the bus, we've yeah. organized our stuff, we've purged again. <laughs> uh, we've gotten through a lot of work and I think we're ready to go. I think we are too and uh, we're certainly more prepared now than we were when we first left Colorado. So. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we have like today and tomorrow, and then we're we're out of here. Yeah, we're gone. So um, anyway, we're we're pumped. And uh, if you want to follow, please do like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. Um, if you're interested in Patreon, we have a link below to check that out. We have some more things coming for our our Patreon family, um, and uh, we're we're thinking about adding some things to that offering that we're pretty excited about we just got to find time to produce it so, <laughs> right <laughs> as, as is everything there's only so many hours in the day but um but thank you all for watching thank you all for being a part of this we really appreciate it we feed off of the enthusiasm that you guys uh have and and show and we really appreciate it so we're excited to be in cool places 
and to stay there for as long as we want. Get That's away the name from of this the game. rain, hopefully. Oh, God. It has <laughs> been so rainy. It's going to thunderstorm like crazy tomorrow, too. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, guys. We appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. This is Zach's game. It takes credit cards. Money in 25 cents. I have to swipe four times. <laughs> what? Five twenty-five? It just did you just get that? I swiped once and it said five twenty-five. <laughs> well, I guess we're playing five dollars <laughs> worth of this game. <laughs> <laughs> And don't shoot that guy! <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh. Ah. <laughs> this is weird. You're making his weird. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Testicles. Testicles.